Should I buy or sell QQQ? The report for QQQ was first published on our website Monday, January 23, 2023, but this is a more detailed version. Subscribe, hit like and notification bell so you will be first to know when we post a new updated video. Since January 20, 2023, our system ranks QQQ as a buy candidate, giving it a score of 2.816. In this period the stock has had a gain of 2.22%. This is an average return of 1.11% per day since first recommended. In our daily updates for QQQ our last headline reads, Green Day on Monday for QQQ ETF after gaining 2.22%. The QQQ ETF price gained 2.22% on the last trading day, Monday, January 23, 2023, rising from $282.68 to $288.96. It has now gained three days in a row. It will be exciting to see whether it manages to continue gaining or take a minor break for the next few days. During the last trading day the ETF fluctuated 2.65% from a day low at $282.73 to a day high of $290.21. The price has risen in 8 of the last 10 days and is up by 7.5% over the past 2 weeks. Volume fell on the last day by minus 8 million shares and in total, 52 million shares were bought and sold for approximately $15.10 billion. You should take into consideration that falling volume on higher prices causes divergence and may be an early warning about possible changes over the next couple of days. In the last 52 weeks, the highest price of the ETF was $371.83, and the lowest price was $254.26. Right now the price is 22.29%, or $82.87, below 52-week high and 29.3%, or $119.75, below all-time high November 22, 2021 where the price hit $408.71. The ETF is at the upper part of a wide and horizontal trend and normally this may pose a good selling opportunity but a breakup through the top trend line at $290.98 will give a strong buy signal and a trend shift could be expected. The current three-month trend indicates a possible minus 1.66% change over the next three months, with a possible return between minus 11.92% and minus 0.97%. The 12-month trend it indicates a minus 22.43% change over the next 12 months with a possible return between minus 40.91% and minus 20.69%. This equals a price between $170.75 and $229.19 after a year. Analyst Ratings and Price Targets The following signals have been found for QQQ. Mostly positive signals in the chart today. The QQQ ETF holds by signals from both short and long-term moving averages giving a positive forecast for the stock. Also, there is a general buy signal from the relation between the two signals where the short-term average is above the long-term average. On corrections down, there will be some support from the lines at $280.89 and $276.14. A breakdown below any of these levels will issue sell signals. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Wednesday, December 28, 2022, and so far it has risen 11.1%. Further rise is indicated until a new top pivot has been found. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence MACD. Volume fell during the last trading day despite gaining prices. This causes a divergence between volume and price and it may be an early warning. The ETF should be watched closely. Here are some other signals you might find interesting. Moving average convergence divergence, by signal. Pivots, by signal 17 days ago. Bollinger, by signal 1 day ago. Short-term moving average, sell signal 4 days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal 4 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 5 days ago. If we look at the 12-month chart we see. 
Short moving average, by signal 12 days ago. The long term moving average, by signal 3 days ago. The relation between the short and the long moving averages. By signal 95 days ago. Remember to go to our page at stockinvest.us if you want to find more signals. Support, Risk and Stop Loss for QQQ QQQ finds support from accumulated volume at $288.65 and this level may hold a buying opportunity as an upwards reaction can be expected when the support is being tested. This ETF has average movements during the day and with good trading volume, the risk is considered to be medium. During the last day, the ETF moved $7.48 between high and low, or 2.65%. For the last week, the ETF has had daily average volatility of 2.05%. Let us have a look at some fundamental data you should be aware of before we tell you some possible good trading levels for QQQ. The price to earnings ratio, PE ratio, is the ratio for valuing a company that measures its current share price relative to its per share earnings. QQQ currently has a price earning ratio of 3.75. This is an relatively low price-to-earnings ratio and either signal a low expectation for the future of the company, or that the stock is undervalued and could indicate a buying opportunity. Here are some possible good day trading levels. On an upturn, QQQ meets first resistance at $290. If you do not hold QQQ shares you should wait for this level to be broken before placing your bet. If you already have the stock this is the level you may want to swing trade. On a downturn QQQ finds first level of support at $288.65 and this is a natural place to put your bet if the support holds with an expectation of a rebounce upwards. Our recommended stop loss is $277.02, minus 4.13%. This ETF has medium daily movements and this gives medium risk. There is a buy signal from a pivot bottom found 16 days ago. Is QQQ ETF a buy? Several short-term signals are positive and we conclude that the current level may hold a buying opportunity, as there is a fair chance for QQQ ETF to perform well in the short-term period. After analyzing the volatility and movements for the last trading day our systems find that the current price is overvalued. For the trading on Tuesday 24th we expect QQQ to open down minus $1.66 and start trading at $287.30. We remind you that trading involves a high risk of losing money, and that you should speak with a financial advisor before buying or selling any securities. You should not base your investment decision upon stockinvest.us. By using the information you agree and are held liable for your own investment decisions. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Comment below and share your thoughts. What is your target for the ETF? Remember